is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to set now the X on your tools. So this is the same job that we did the Z's on. Now we're gonna set the X on the first two OD tools, number one and number three. So once again, you're gonna go to MBI and you're gonna start your spindle. You guys remember how to do that? We're gonna index to the tool number one position. You guys already know how to do that. Go MBI, throw it forward until you see on the display here that tool number one is uh, selected. And you're just gonna bring your tool close to your part, about an inch away on the X and about an inch away on the Z. And then slowly you're gonna start moving in past the face of the part, maybe about a quarter of an inch. And then once you're about a quarter of an inch into the part, you're gonna slowly gonna come, gonna start coming in until you see a, a line right here or a chip. So I'm gonna slowly come in until I see that line or a chip. You can also hear it when it makes contact. So there it is. You guys see that line right there? That's the, the cut that the tool has, has, is made. So now you're gonna back up on the Z axis so that you actually make a true cut. So now I made a cut on that piece of material. Now you're gonna move your tool only on the Z axis. You don't wanna move it on the X. We only wanna move it on the Z because you don't wanna lose your position. So I'm gonna move that tool away from the spindle Press reset to stop your spindle. And then grab a pair of calipers and you're gonna measure the diameter of that cut that you just made. So you put your calipers in there and that cut right now is uh, 646. Okay, this is oversized 5 eighths. So you're gonna go to your offset page onto your geometry and you're gonna select your X and you're gonna tell it that you wanna enter an X diameter and you wanna measure it. So when you press the X diameter, right here you see this flashing is saying, telling you, okay, enter the diameter that you want. So we know that our diameter was 646. So you're gonna enter 646. And make sure that you type it correctly, make sure that your decimal is in the right place. Once it's correct, you're gonna press the right enter key. And when you press that key, this number on the X axis is gonna change. Watch, see? So now that number changed to minus 11 inches, 793 thousandths and four tenths. So now the X on that tool is set. Now we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the Z. We're gonna tell it to go to the next tool, which is tool number and then at this point you can also do it with a shim you don't have to have the spindle on go about an inch away on the Z about an inch away on the X change it to a slow feed rate bring it in somewhere to where you know that you're gonna be the tip of the tool is gonna be on that diameter that you just cut and then just press your shim. And just as you were setting the Z, you wanna feel that drag. You wanna feel the same drag on your X axis. So there it is. You know, I cannot really pull it out and it's staying right there by itself. So now we're gonna go back to our offset page and we're gonna press X diameter measure. It's telling us enter the diameter. We know already that that diameter is 646 and it's the memory on the machine records the last data that it was entered onto the machine. So we know it's 646, so that's correct. We press the right enter key and it'll change that number. It'll measure the distance from center line to the home position. So see now it's at minus 11, 4174, or 417 thousandths and four tenths. Now what I normally do is before we were moving the turret you know, on the Z axis, now we're just gonna move the turret on the X axis. 
on the positive direction. So you're gonna move it out. Let's say that I need to touch this next tool, which is a OD groove. I'm gonna touch the next tool. I am far away to I know, where I know that none of these tools are gonna hit my spindle. And I'm gonna come back in to the, you know, that OD groove. Slow my feet right down. Come in, feel that drag. Okay, go back to your offset page, right below F1, X diameter measure, it's going to tell you enter the diameter that you have, we know that it's 646, and you're going to tell it to enter that number, and that number changed to minus 10 inches, uh, 997, and you continue to do so with all of your OD tools, okay? Um, for an ID tool, let's say that you want to set X0 for the center drill. Well, obviously, center line for the center drill is gonna be right on the center of that part. So, most machines they have once you set an X on the a machine X, it stores that number. And has machines are really neat because you can go to the offset page and installing it right here on the X position to press F2 for an X offset to center line. And obviously a drill drills right on center line. So all we gotta do is press F2. And when I press that F2 number, this number right there is gonna change. And now is right on center line. So if you notice over here on the machine, the tool is not even close to center line, but it doesn't matter because all I'm telling is, all I'm telling it is to read whatever the machine center is. Uh, so that's a really neat feature. You don't have to try to look at your chip or indicate your drill or nothing. All you do is, like I said, you go right here. It tells you press F2 for center line offset. You know, to set your X to center line. So it's really, it's really fast. It's really simple. Uh, that's one of the features that I like the most on the Haas machines. Um, so that's about it. Um, on a boring bar to set your X, I'm gonna make a tutorial just on that because to set the X on a boring bar, you have to have a hole already drilled on your part uh, to be able to do that. So I'll make a separate tutorial for that. Uh, so I hope that this was helpful for you guys and uh, thanks for watching.